What's up guys? So today it's going to be a pretty cool little video. Two new things that happened to the salt water. Number one, our good old boy Buster Stallone. Yes, his last name is Stallone. Because let's uh, see if we can get here. It looks like he's got the Sylvester Stallone lip. So I'm not sure if I've ever let you guys know, but his last name's Stallone. Then second of all, we got new corals in the 16 gallon tank. So we're gonna talk about this as we're moving Buster over to the new tank. So let's get right into it. All right, what is up guys? As you see, we got Buster in a cup. You can always entice a fish with just a little food on the top of the water and then either scoop them up with a net or as I did with a cup. So now we gotta acclimate him. And then while we're acclimating him, we'll talk about the new corals we got in this tank and where we got them from. So what we're gonna be doing today is drip acclimating him. So what you just do is simply get an air tube, put one end into the tank, and then on the other end, just give it a soft little pull with your mouth to get all the air out to purge it. And as you see, it starts going. And then as it's doing that, just like this, you put a little knot in it, the air tube. And what you will see happens is it starts dripping like that. And then you tighten it accordingly to how you want the drip to go. As you can see, this is a constant stream, so we need to tighten this up a little. Still a constant stream, so tighten that up a little more. There you go, like that. We'll loosen that up just a tiny bit. There you go, that's a perfect drip. We're gonna let that drip for 20 minutes. And while that's going, it'll come up to about here and then he will be ready to go in the tank. So while this is occurring, let's go ahead and talk about the corals in here. We got these corals from Pieces of the Ocean. They had a fire sale on all these corals, amazing, amazing prices. So we, we just couldn't give up the opportunity. So we got a whole bunch of new pieces for the tank. So over here, we have a Japanese toadstool leather. As you can see, it is very pretty. It is a purple body with green polyps. Right now he's a little upset because of more flow due to the fact that we got a better filter for this aquarium. This is a Fluval 207. It has a lot more filtration room with biomedia which salt water protein's the main issue. So with this more biomedia, we're able to do better filtration as what a filter does. So that's really good. So he's still getting used to the new flow. So we'll give him some more time. We'll see in another video when he's fully extended. Then over here we have one of my leather corals from the five gallon. He's doing really good. Then over here we have a photosynthetic gorgonian. And as you guys see, I put leathers and gorgonians at the top because it has a lot of flow. This is the area of most flow. Now here's a little tidbit. A lot of soft corals love a decent amount of flow. It always helps, especially with leathers because they do shed. So with a good amount of flow, that really helps them be able to shed off their layer of the skin. And as you can see, then he'll go back to normal. Then over here, we have a apple fritter, Montipora. This is a really cool SPS. This will eventually plate out. It's a beautiful pinkish blue. It's hard to see with the camera because of the blue light. And then it has cute little blue polyps, but it is really pretty. We'll see if we can try to catch that later. 
Then down here, we have a Gratis Pally. This is one of the largest Pallies or Palithoa that you can get. This is similar to the Zoanthid, which as you guys know, I talked about that I really love. So that's pretty awesome. Then down here, we have a Dragon Scale Favia. Favia is a LPS, which is a large polyp snow neat, so they are decently easier to take care of. Not too hard. And as you can see, they've got tons of pretty color in them. They do like a decent amount of flow, so we put them down here where the Wave Maker send flow over them. Then we have another Favia. I believe this is called a Lagoon Favia. Then over here, we have a Maze Coral, which is another type of brain coral. These are all considered a type of brain coral. This guy is awesome. Same thing. Loves flow. They're all medium light, so we have them down here. A lot of leather corals like a lot of light and really good flow, so that's why they're up there. Then over here, we have a Utter Chaos Zoanthid. He's doing really good, looking real good. We're really excited. We put him on a rock by itself so he can completely spread out. Then back here, we have some fuzzy green star polyp, which is basically just regular star green star polyp with fuzzies all over it. We like that, so that's why we put it on its own rock and it'll fully encrust the rock. And this is mainly all that's going on with the tank at the moment. It's been up for a month and a half, so about a month and a half. So it's cycled, we got these first corals in, we let these guys settle, and then we decided, hey, let's get Buster in. So since he's been in the five gallon, he should need an upgrade soon. So we decided he should be the first inhabitant since he was my first, well, second saltwater fish, but the first I kept. The other thing, the yelltail damsel, I wouldn't go for them guys if anyone ever recommends them. They're pretty bad coral nippers, so I would not agree with that. But as you see here, everything's looking good. So we're going to let Buster sit for a little bit longer, acclimating, and we'll see you guys in a second. A few moments later. Right, guys, as you can see, the water has reached the top. That means our good friend Buster is ready to go in the tank. So we're going to go ahead and remove this strip line from that. Let that finish out. Actually, you know what? We'll lift that up and put that in the sink quickly. And we're going to add the buster in. Alrighty. I think what, how we're going to do this is I'm just going to wet my hand and go in and pick them up. As that's the best way. Here's a good tip, guys. Try not to use fish nets as it can damage the slime coat on fish. The more you know. So as you can see here, we're just gonna go ahead. Pick up the buster. And in he goes. In goes the buster. Look at the buster go. Wow, oh, you look so small in that big tank. Oh my god. That's so crazy. Look at that. That's so cute. This was just a short little video to kind of show you what's going on with the saltwater tank. As you can see, a lot has happened just in the past few weeks. We will be doing some pretty cool content, playing hopefully to get a couple rocket launches in before, you know, in the beginning of the school year. We'll see how that ends up. Hopefully a kayak trip. 
So stay tuned for that. If you guys like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to turn on the bell notification so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. Have an awesome day, guys. Hope you enjoyed again, and see ya.